So just had a quick meeting in Ventura, Oxnard, early in the morning. If you recognize this place, that right there is Rafi's place. One of the best restaurants in the world. Came from Ventura, visited my dad, went to Delicate Cosmetics, our good family there. Bad Ali family. What a business, great success story on what they've built as a family. And to Violet, Uncle Shurik, and my buddy Oliver. They've built an incredible business for themselves. Um, making makeup for some of the big companies in the world. And then Tom and I now here get in the car to head back out to the airport. After having Rafi's place, we got a flight here, we got a catch, drop off the rental car. So, you know, I was in Ventura this morning and Oxnard, California, and we were having a conversation with some of these guys. And one of the questions I was asked is, Pat, tell me about confidence. What can I do to improve my confidence? And I said, you know, everybody is asking for like a seven step process to having more confidence, right? But to me, confidence is stemmed from a couple different things. So I'm gonna talk about two different things in this video. One of them being how to be more confident. Listen. No matter what you do, a person who is a criminal, who's extremely confident, a man who is a player, who's extremely confident with women, a businessman who is extremely good at what he does with business, a, a, a person who, you know, uh, 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 runs anything, a coach, an athlete, anybody, who's extremely confident at what they do, it's not a just a natural state. Yes, some people naturally could come across as more confident than others, and it could be from positive reinforcement, from family telling them how amazing they are, or a good mentor, or a wife that tells them how amazing, or a husband. Yes, all of that plays a very big role. There is a role that plays with that. But some, some cultures, some nationalities, they're not raised in an environment where somebody's telling you how amazing you are. If you come from the Middle East, the, the uh, Asian community, that that community is not about oh you're so awesome you're gonna do so great things no it's just like you didn't do this you didn't do that you didn't so it, it it there is a part of that plays a role but not as big as as we think we do Tom you know where we're going I'm assuming right okay so but the thing that I brought up is I said look if you don't have confidence in yourself is because what you say and what you do are not aligned so what do I mean by that. If you say, hey, the key to success is hard work, but you're not working hard, you don't have confidence because you know you're not being honest with the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror, right? If you say, you know, you got to save money, but then if you're not saving money, because internally you're having a battle that no one sees, it's a hypocritical battle because inside you don't respect yourself because you know what you are saying is not what you are doing, so you don't feel good about yourself, so there's a lack of confidence um, in you. So the people who have a lot of confidence, what they say and what they do, they have a lot of belief in it because they're doing it. The key to success in business is if you work hard and go out there and you make the calls, you do this, you do that, and you're doing it, people are gonna buy it. And so then the other side of it comes where it's having leadership with influence, leadership with influence. So one is confidence. So you got confidence in you. It's an internal battle. It's an internal game. You versus you, right? Confidence. Then you have people that you say, man, how does this person have so much influence over people? How does this person have so much influence over people? Why is it that these people respond to what he has to say or what she has to say, right? Well, then that comes down to what? you know moral authority and here's what moral authority is if what you are doing and what you are saying is aligned in your mind and then eventually you now have the moral authority for you to talk about that because you know the details about how to have confidence in business and succeed then others listen to you and then you have influence now are there certain anomalies of people that write a key to success and next thing you know, the book blows up and you know, but they've never really worked hard. They just kind of wrote a book that did very good. Yes, there are some people like that, but I don't want to subscribe to the anomaly. I don't want to subscribe to the exception. I want to figure out a formula that I can 
replicate that can bring me results. That's what I'm looking for. So if you're looking for confident, always, always ask yourself, what you say, is it what you do? What you do, is it aligned with what you say? If it is, you believe in yourself. If it's not, you don't like yourself. And when you don't like yourself, you're insecure, you don't like what you're doing, you don't really like being around, you just, you don't, you, you yourself are like, man, I don't like this person because this person's full of it. There's not an alignment in what this guy believes and does. There's a lot of internal battles. And let me tell you, the worst type of battles are not a battle with anybody else outside. The worst, most painful, frustrating battles I've ever faced in my life is me against me. Biggest. It's never been against anybody else. It's been me against me. It's been Pat versus Pat. It's been the biggest battles of my life. Is Pat versus Pat. Nothing else. So once these words match the behavior, confidence goes up. And once enough people start realizing that what you say and what you do matches the behavior, moral authority leads to influence, leads to action, leads to other people wanting to work with you, to learn from you, to be around you, to be influenced by you, then there's success, then there's growth, then there's results, then there's lifestyle, then there's credibility, then there's a man sitting in the car next to you driving like a race car driver. He thinks we're in a time, this is like you're, you're, you're thinking you're a race car driver right now, buddy. You should see how he's driving right now. I'm, that, that's the food that dropped from Rafi's place. Now, just so you know, it was a, sound more like a body. It's like a rental car we got and we haven't checked the trunk yet. Bottle of water underneath. Bottle of water, we'll take it. Anyways. Although it could be a body. Don't rule that out. I don't know about that one. So another thought is we're here in California and let me tell you what California freaks out the most. When I wear the shirt and I'm walking over the shirt, ooh, they love this shirt. I love capitalism. I love capitalism. And I get some people that come in and say, who are you? You're the worst person in the world to promoting capitalism. I thought you were a nice person. So just because I believe in capitalism, I'm a bad person now. Anyways, so um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you got questions to follow up with confidence and uh, moral authority and influence, message on the bottom. And uh, if you'd like to get one of these shirts, I love capitalism shirt, you can go to patrickbaydavid.com. I can't really do this thing. Well, we'll try doing it this way. Boom. PatrickBayDavid.com. If you did it, I'm proud of you guys. PatrickBayDavid.com. And on there, go to products. And under products, you will see the shirt. I love capitalism. And you can order one for yourself and sport it in your community and watch the reaction you get from people who disagree with you. But more importantly, the people that do disagree with, that do agree with you, they will all come and talk to you. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.